Hey, what's going on gamers and welcome to another Smart Madden video. Today we're working on defense. This is Coach Lee, aka Franchise. Today we're working on defensive concepts and stopping the split close. This is episode number two. Uh, we're going to be specifically defending against the Y receiver corner and the HB wheel. The defense we are going to be using is out of the nickel sub package. 245 and the name of the play is buck slant three flipped okay the goal here is to apply pressure to the gun split formation to make the ball come out of the quarterback's hands when we want it to come out of his hands and we're dictating to offense because that's the way to play good sound defense what i like to do is bring my safeties into the hash assuming you're at the center of the field and what that will do is it'll take away the pre-snap read of the post that typically comes out of the wide receiver corner and the HB wheel route. You do want to use this uh, player here because ultimately you want to drop back to a good depth to take away the initial post read in case they try to throw a quick pass and rally to anything underneath like ends, drags, or uh, check and releases coming out of the backfield with the running back. All right. It's a very simple setup, as you can see. That's all you need to do here. And when the play develops, you're going to get a free rusher at the quarterback. And ultimately, that's exactly what you want. I want to show you the highlight just to show you the, the great coverage that you have on this play. All right. So the initial dump out of the backfield, he could take that, but that's going to be a three or four yard gain because this uh, corner is going to peel off and take care of that if he sees it. As you can see, this is why I want you to user the linebacker because as you can see, if left on his own, he's going to rally towards the middle. I want you to user that player and take away that. We can also give him an assignment to make him stay at home. I will show you that as well. Ultimately, though, we do get a free runner. The wheel is covered, the corner route is covered, and the end is covered. And ultimately, you're in the quarterback's face with a very aggressive rush. All right, let's try this again. Remember, bring your safeties into the hash. User this player. Now, if you notice, he's set up at three receiver hook. If I change his assignment, I can give him a hook curl, or if I move him into the middle, I can make him go to mid read. Let's see what he does when he's at the mid read on his own. I'm not going to use him. I'm going to move off against the HP wheel. As you can see, he still drops to the our right or his left, and we don't want that. Now, what I do want to show you is that when you just give him a regular hook route, let's bring in our safeties to the hash, and we give him a hook curl responsibility. And we'll click off so that you can see what happens there against the HP wheel. Look how he plays it. He makes the drop on his own, but it does give the underneath open. So you do have some options with how you want to attack that. If you're not comfortable with using a player, you can have him go to a hook curl. He will drop to the depth and then rally to everything underneath. But you do need to account for that in, in the HB wheel. All right. I do want to uh, show you this defense against the wide receiver corner. So let's jump right into that. The setup is the same. Wide receiver corner. And again, nickel 245, which is a sub package. In this particular case, I'm going to leave him at the three uh, receiver hook responsibility. And as you can see here, he's going to make that drop and make the quarterback have to make a decision in a very short amount of time. Ultimately, let's take a look at the uh, replay. I do want to show you that how you toggle that middle linebacker, at least in this case he's a DB, will dictate how well you can defend these plays. As you can see here, there were three different responses that he had. You can see he responded to the running back coming out of the backfield. He responded to the curl. And then he was going to drop back to the depth back here. As you can see, this guy's open. But there's no time for all of that because 
there's a sack. All right, I did want to show you some options to put pressure on the split close. This is definitely uh, one of the better ways to do it. You do need to use or that linebacker to get the maximum results, uh, which was hard to duplicate here working alone in the, in the lab. I hope you can appreciate this video. Hit the like button. Come back for more content and information on Smart Madden. This is Coach Lee, a.k.a. Franchise, and I'm out of here.